Welcome to another episode of uh, Form Check Friday with me, Coach Marlon. Today we're going to have a special guest. With us is a uh, strong man athlete, Luis Regenta, also a powerlifter. Hi everyone. Okay. What's up? So today is a special episode because we're going to be featuring three spotter video fails. Okay. So it has caught our attention with the submission of several uh, training videos that uh, a lot of people aren't familiar with the art of spotting, especially during the squat, bench press, and bench press. Right, okay. so mm. spotting is actually very important. It's actually to prevent injuries, but there's actually also an art form too. Yes. So we gotta take that into consideration. So let's play the first video. Okay, so let me also explain to the audience that Luis is here because he was present in two out of the three videos, okay? So, we're gonna play the first video. It's uh, one of our coaches, Reggie Ramirez. Uh, perhaps pound per pound, the strongest Filipino powerlifter right now. In the video, he's gonna try to bench press, how much is this? This is 120. 120 kilos at the body weight of 56 kilograms while using the Mark Bell slick shot, okay? Right. So, uh, for everyone who's watching, please notice ano na yung wrong na nangyayari on the onset of the video. <laughs> okay, hand off. Start of the rep, then the oh, fail. Alright. Okay. So, there's actually a reason why there's uh, abrupt yung cut ng video. So, the one taking the video was Coach Q and he came to help. Yes, okay. So, let me point out three uh, mistakes that happened here. First one is the chief spotter, the girl that you see handing off the bar, dapat hindi yung girl yung nag-handle If there's uh, one thing to be reminded when asking for a spot, make sure that your spotter is in as much as possible as strong as you or stronger than you. Okay? So what happened is, the rack of the girlfriend is going up. So this is 120 kilos. I'm not saying that women are weak. Okay? For safety purposes, it's better to have a spotter that's stronger than you. Okay? Or able to handle the weight. Yes. So what happened is, two-fold what happened. It's hard to see spotter. Mali pa yung pagkaka-handoff. So, ang nangyari is, nung hinandoff na yung bar, lahat ng setup ni Reggie nawala. Nabunot si Reggie in place. Kasi, uh, the spotter was forced to yak up the weight in, Instead of gently handing it off. There's another thing wrong with this setup. Uh, mali dyan is, dalawa lang yung spotter. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> so, malaking mali. Okay. So, kailangan tatlo, ideally. Equal. So, the uh, they can catch the weight. Yes. So, uh, you see what happens in the set. If you play the video, you'll see what uh, happens. Okay, let's play the video again. So, instead of having three spotters, dalawa lang sila. So, ang equal nung sinalo na leg weight. Yan. Oh, look at that. <laughs> okay. So, muntik na mamatay si Reggie. <laughs> Anyways, going back to the video. So, again, have a strong spotter, okay? Uh, as much as possible, stronger than you, okay? Second, make sure balance on both sides, actually pati in the front, yung spotters mo, okay? Uh, when spotting for a bench press, especially when going for maximal weights, it is highly advisable to have three coordinated spotters instead of just having one. So, another point here is pag rack off, the main spotter, ang nangyari is nag-walk out siya. Wow. Yo, instead of closely looking at the bar while Reggie was was uh, bench pressing, she took a step back. Okay? So it's important to always yeah, so, so as much as possible to, to sort of just hover around the bar. Pero huwag mo naman i-touch. <laughs> yes. Proximity-wise, you have to be close enough to be able to catch the bar once uh, shit goes down the wire. Pero 
uh, far enough not to obstruct the view of the referees if you're in a competition. But since you're not in a competition, it doesn't make sense to walk uh, walk back too far out. Okay? Even if you completely trust the lifter na ayon yung wadi ni Luke. So, uh, safety side tayo. So, finally, let's play the video again to point out the mistakes and rooms for improvement. Number one, have a strong main spotter. Number two, stay close to the bar if you're the spotter. Number three, Luis always look for a partner. Yes. Okay. So actually, to give you context about this trip, this is the first time Reggie was lifting with a slingshot. <laughs> <laughs> so you can, see, you can see it's major max out collection. Okay. So right. That's for, that's it for our first video. Let's proceed with the second video. Do you like slingshots? Okay. Comment down below. It's another bench press video. <laughs> this is our coach again. <laughs> Coach Q <laughs> from our podium branch. So let's let's watch the video. Yon, okay. Another mistake. So na it, it similar yung nangyari. Before we delve into yes, that, okay. no? try to explain what the setup is. I see there's fans there. Oh ah, yes. Uh, uh, before I proceed with the spotting part of the video, as you can see, uh there's a rubber band tied at the end of the bar, okay? So what happens is uh, the rubber band pulls the bar as it goes down and as it goes up. So added resistance siya, variable resistance. Uh, Nagkakaroon ng variable resistance to the bar. So pag pinupush mo yung bar going up, it becomes heavier since the band gets tighter. As you, you uh, descend the bar, uh, as far as back benches is concerned, like we pick up the velocity of the bar because it's a lot of bands. Okay? So, in other words, for those who are not quite familiar with this, it's uh, easier to get the bar because there are bands that are going to be Going back to the video, so first mistake, same as the first video. In resistance ito right now, if you can see it is at around 85 kilos. Pero since my pants are gilid, that's well beyond 85 kilos. I go as far as saying as the weight of this is somewhere between 100 to 110 at the top. Okay, where the resistance is uh, the highest since my pants. Right. Pero nagpaspat si, si Coach Q do sa fellow coach niya <laughs> na obviously So Coach Kathy, shout out. It's not that strong okay, <laughs> to spot Coach Q. So, ang kailangan sana ginawa ni Coach Q, hindi sana siya nagmadali, sana he went to look for another spotter who's stronger than Coach Kathy. So, actually, that's what happened. So, next story to the rescue. Yes, uh, fortunately, there was another lifter inside uh, uh, within the room na who's definitely stronger than Coach Kathy. So, it was a lot easier uh, to, get the, to get the bar up once it got stuck on push push skews chest okay let's play the video again so again mistake number one ask a spot from someone you think or you are sure better you are sure that it's stronger than you okay good naman yung ginawa ni coach Kati tutok siya tutok siya nakadikit yung halos nakadikit yung hands niya to the bar as the bar went down. It just so happens, she was not that strong enough to, to catch the weight and pull it back up to the rack. So it's important for a spotter to be attentive. Yes, yes. Actually, uh, uh, majority of your job as a spotter is to be attentive during the lift for you to, to pay attention to what's happening. Otherwise, if you get late by, by a few seconds, Sometimes life and death, man, uh, life or death uh, situation. A lot of things can happen in a few seconds. Yes. So, uh, as a spotter, you have to be quick. And uh, also, siguro maganda sa binito, Luis, is if you're the lifter, you should kahit pa paano tell the spotter na, oh, malapit na sa 100 max ko or 100 right. max ko. So, you give them context. So, the point of the spotter, you're the lifter. Sometimes you're, you have some doubt that you're not going to be able to lift the weight. So, kailangan important to sabihin sa spotter 
hot. Uh, malapit na to sa limit ko. Yes, so malapit lockout. Malapit sa max ko. So please be attentive with this lift. Yes, okay. So th- that's one thing that you can do. Okay, now we're gonna proceed with the last video. Before we proceed uh, with our last video, we're gonna call in a special guest of ours to consult with it's Coach Michael Santos, Mid Director and Technical Director of PageGate. <laughs> okay, so we called in Coach Mike for our last video to clarify some things with regards to spotting. Uh, this is in the context of a powerlifting competition. Before we go to that, let's just play the video. Yawn! <laughs> okay. So, in the video, as you can see, another coach. So, uh, just a disclaimer to everyone, it doesn't mean if uh, you're a professional coach, fitness coach, or uh, second conditioning coach, that you don't make mistakes. Uh, I mean, nito, we always have to be reminded of what the right thing uh, should we do every time we do spot our clients or our colleagues. So, as you can see in the video, Na una pang natumba yung spotter <laughs> kasi hindi sa lifter. So, bakit? Okay, ang nangyari is Coach Mo was too far out to catch the bar. So, ang nangyari is yung resistance which comes in the form of the bar was too far from his center of gravity. So, na out of balance siya going forward. Kung baga, sinalo na yung bar from here instead of here. Okay, again, which brings us to our point from the previous videos that you have to pay attention. You have to stay close enough to the bar that you can assist at a uh, snap of a finger but far enough not to obstruct the view of the referees. Okay. Now speaking of referees, uh, Coach Mike is uh, the technical director for PHPL. Ano nga ba yung guidelines with regards to spotting at least for the spot? Uh, actually, uh, marami ako nakikita ang mali when it comes to spotting. They're using their wrist when they spot. Okay? Usually, when you spot, lalo na pag side spotter ka, you use your arm. You put your arm under the bar, then yung kamay sa plato, other arm sa isang plato. Okay? Mm. Mas maganda yung base mo dyan. Pag yun yung ginamit mo. Not unlike this, sabi nga ni Coach Marlon, in split seconds, pwedeng mahulog yung bar. Dito, sapo agad yan. Plus, you can have more space. Kung baga, bibigyan mo lang, hindi ba pwedeng, ano eh, um, dikitan niyong bar eh. Uh, uh, kung baga, red flag yun eh. Okay? Um, dito, wala kang ample time to catch the weight. Pwedeng lumusot. Yes, so, oh, lumusot yan. Kasi ganun lang kung... Um, kaya I suggest, bar, ito yung bar kunwari, put your arm under the bar. Dito sa plato, dito sa plato. Pwede kang um, pumesto sa harap. Yung lifter, for example, ito yung lifter na sa harap. Yan. Pwede yan sa likod or pwede yan naman sa harap. Always use your arm in, in catching the weight. Eh, Coach, my question ko. For example, kung sa mga attempts na kailangan ng limang spotter, dalawang side sa sabak. Uh, Siyempre, mag-share pa sila dun sa pagsakuno ng weights. Ano ba? Dalawang side sa side. Mag-share pa sila dun. O, time na para yung isang spotter sa side, sa isang side spotter. Yung bar, yung bar na mismo yung hawa. Uh, um, kaya yun, pwede sa'yo, harap tsaka likod yun. Ah, oh, okay. Ah, okay. Oh, okay, okay. That, uh, diba, usually yan, pag five squats siya squat kasi, minimum of three spotters, maximum of five. Okay, wala naman, depende, wala naman sinasabing weight kung ilan yung five, pero usually pag big boys, malalaki oh. na mga spotter, kaya naman tatlo. Okay. Pagpapigat na. Oo, oh, pagpapigat na. Pero yun, yung isa sa harap, nakaganun din, yung isa sa plato, nakakatch din yung sa plato. But again, use the arm as a plate to approach. You don't have to worry about the plate. It's a plate. It's a plate. It's a plate. It's a plate. Okay. So, again, of course, the responsibility of Spotter is to make sure that if you fail the lifter, you won't be able to get the lifter. What is the responsibility of the lifter? Again, that's what I said to Marlon. The responsibility of Spotter is, again, to be safe with the lifter. However, uh, every spotter nasa dangerous position yan. Yes. Siyempre, ilang kilo yung um, nakakarga sa bar. Kaya palagi pag gumukuha ako spotter, nagbubuhat na palagi. Ang responsibi- responsibility ng ni athlete is huwag na huwag niyang bibitawan yung weight once na nag-fail siya. 
why pareho sila magka mapupunta sa awkward position wherein to combat their number at mas mapaiinjured si Ate. Kaya uh, I suggest sa Ate, once na nag-fail siya, huwag na huwag niyang bibitawan yung weight na yun kasi andun si spatter para sapuhin yung weight na yun. Okay. There's uh, a reason why it's uh, considered to be uh, Ground chef for disqualifications. So uh, let me just clarify to everyone that's watching that uh, Coach Mike mentioned not to let go of the bar. Uh, there's a term for that. Don't duck the bar. If you if you're in trouble, uh, if you get in trouble while rising and you feel that you won't be able to make the lift, some people actually did go the bar. Throw it backwards. So. Never do that. Instead of doing that, hold on to the bar. Because uh, in that way, mas magkakaroon ng control si spotter with the bar. Kapag dinang mo yung bar, imagine catching 200 kilos with, with your arm. So that's very difficult. It's easier for the spotters to catch the bar if you're attached to it. Okay? Kasi lahat ng weight makupunta sa spotter. Yes, correct. Oh. Of course, it's a different story if you're lifting alone, right? Mm -hmm. You can always just stop the ball. Yes, that's the opposite, naman. If you will lift alone, you 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 know how you have to know how to uh, escape, naman, kapag when you're lifting alone. Okay. Ang adla ba ako? Ah, sure. Sa gym gym setting, sure. Minsan pula yung tao. Um, isa lang yung spatter mo. I suggest sa back spatter. <clears throat> Wag mong ispatan yung bar. Pag asal ko di ba? Using your arms. Use this also, okay? Your arms, mo, he best mo under his lats, <laughs> under his lats, okay? Para once na face the lifter, uh, you can catch him. I suggest uh, close fist para mas tense yung um, forearm mo o yung arms mo or at the same time pag babae para hindi man awkward. Uh, <laughs> kaya I just close. Ilang naman. Okay, so play natin ulit yung video para para uh, just to recap. Recap lang natin in. Everyone to be reminded of uh, what not to do. So again, the lifter failed. Who is now, the lifter? Um, um, MJ. Ma'am MJ. Oh. Uh, Bo was too far out to catch the bar. So uh, instead of being ready in this position, he was forced to extend his arm. So nangyari, lumayo sa center gravity niya yung bar. So natumba siya pa forward. So again, as Siyempre, uh, sa context ng uh, ng competition, iba naman. So, remind mo lang, Coach, again, final tips mo with regards to uh, again, spotting. Uh, Sige, po tayo sa box spotting. Pag box spotter ka again, okay, don't use this in getting the bar or spotting the bar. Okay, use your arms pa rin. To catch. Uh, to catch term, okay. actually. Position mo yung biceps mo o yung arms mo under his lats, his or her lats. Okay. So again, always be ready na mag-fail siya. Again, kung paano mag-pray si Atlet, ganun ka rin sana ka-ready. Sa side spotting, again, don't use this. Again, don't catch the weight, uh, don't catch the weight using this. Kasi split seconds, pwedeng mahulog or mag-fail siya. Pwedeng mawala yung balance mo dyan or, or tumagos yung bar dyan. Kaya I suggest, use this. Raise your arm, okay, under the bar. Ito, hawak sa plato. Then, ito. Then you squat it. As you squat. Give uh, ample space to the lifter. Don't ever touch the bars. Okay. Yeah. Naman. Girls so, are important for the guys and girls. They love girls. They love girls. Oh, <laughs> okay. So, uh, uh, thank you uh, everyone for tuning in. So, uh, just keep on sending those videos. We're going to try to look, in, look into them one by one. So again, this is Coach Marlon. Uh, this is Coach Mike. Coach Mike. Uh, That's Luis. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. This is Form uh, Check Friday. Check Friday. See you guys in the next episode. Thank you.